Hello guys, in this video we are going to see this circuit. Here we have two push button switch, push to on. This switch is for on. And to turn off this, we have to use this switch. So it is for on, it is for off. So let's get started. For this, we need D flip flop IC CD4013. Pin 14 is connected to the plus 5 volt, and pin 7 is connected to the ground. You can connect from 3 volt to 16 volt. With pin 6, we have to connect one push button switch, and other pin of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt, and with pin 4, we have to connect another push button switch, and other pin of the switch is also connected to the plus 5 volt. As these two pins are input, so we have to connect pull down resistor. We have to connect pull down resistor to the input of any digital IC. And I already explained about this link in the description below. And for debouncing, we have to connect ceramic capacitor. This switch is for on and it is for off. We will take output from pin 1. With this pin, we can connect a small LED. But if you want to control a bigger load, then you have to connect a relay with a transistor. The collector is connected to plus 5 volt and with the emitter, we have to connect the relay. The other pin of the relay is connected to the ground. And parallel to this coil, we have to connect a diode and it is in reversed bias. This is BC548. But for this video, I am not going to connect relay and the transistor in breadboard connection. I'll connect just an LED. With pin Q, I'll connect a resistor and then LED. The negative pin will be connected to the ground. And we have to connect two more pin to the ground, pin 3 and pin 5. Now we'll see this in practical. I see 4013, pin 14 is connected to the plus VCC or plus 5 volt. Pin 7 is connected to the ground, also 3 and 5. Here is switch 1. Switch 2. One pin of the switch is connected to the VCC. With the switch, we have to connect the capacitor. With the pin 6 and 4, we have to connect pull down resistor. Let's say this is for on and this is for off. As it is on, so we have to connect this to pin 6 and switch off. It will be connected to the pin 4. Now for the output, 220 ohms resistor with pin 1. Connecting both the positive and negative rails. Connecting 5 volt power supply. Here it is negative and it is positive. Now it is on. This is for off. So this switch is for on. Off. On. Again if I press nothing it will do. Off. It is for off. On. Off. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video, if so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I will show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.